Aloha family, Spencer Mack here. Today I would love to share with you what I consider to be the most fundamental form of exercise that there is. In fact, it's so quintessential to having a body that it's done across species. In fact, I actually learned it from my cat and my dog. It's called pandiculation. I know, sounds freaky. However, it's quite natural. You may know it as yawning or stretching. It is the simultaneous contraction and expansion of your muscles, most often paired with the breath. Now, if you have a cat or dog, you've probably seen it dozens of times. Before they get off the ground, if they've been laying around for a while, they reach out, stretch and contract. It's a simultaneous elongation with the flexion. So the next time you catch yourself waking up in the morning, taking a deep breath, squeezing and stretching, pay attention to that feeling. There is gold there. I've made a couple of videos on the topic of dynamic tension, and that is the simultaneous flexion of agonist and antagonist muscles, being able to generate your own resistance through a range of motion. The body naturally does this. Now when we can tap in to that feeling, especially when we can learn to root it all the way from our psoas, from our root, we can not only strengthen the connected chain of muscles, but we can realign our structure to allow our body to be in its more ideal posture. So for instance, yawning. Even if you were to just work on inhaling and stretching the jaw out, eventually you will get a legitimate yawn. Pay attention to how that feels. The drawing in of air, stretching the lungs, stretching the jaw with attention. There's a squeezing and an engagement. This practice is fundamental to integrating our mind into our body and making sure that all parts of our bodies are aligned. Now if we can learn to do it all the way from the root, if we can learn to do it towards specific arms or legs, <clears throat> it can be directed in a very useful manner. I have successfully reset ribs, the vertebrae, and a broken collarbone, all with the power of dynamic tension. I shattered my collarbone in a motorcycle accident. Two weeks later, I had an x-ray showing the bone overlapping. I went home that day, filled my lungs, and elongated, stretched, and tensed that muscle. Whoosh, heard, felt it crack, and the next x-ray I got a week later, it was lined up. The muscles remember where the bones go. So this practice gets developed over time. You'll become more and more aware and in tune with how all of the muscles integrate and how they can elongate the muscles, elongate the arms, the shoulders, the spine, the core. If you watch your animals when they get up, first they'll stretch the shoulders out and the jaw, and then it's one leg at a time, pushing down and back out one leg, down and back out the other leg. You can do the arms straight up, arching the back, pulling the shoulders down. And those are some of the most fundamental postures. It's something to be played around with. If you catch yourself when you're yawning and doing it naturally, you may see that you twist into unique postures. If you can learn to feel and listen to the body and let it go where it wants to, there's gold there. You can find very valuable resets. Now there's one other thing that I've learned from my pets that follows this practice very well, and that is shaking. After they do that long stretch, they'll shake. You can watch the vibration go down their spine, like when they're shaking water off their spine, or just shaking their head to loosen the muscles. The shaking sends waves through the body, and with the wave, you will become aware of any tense spot because it will show itself by stopping the fluid motion of the wave. So, big inhales, 
stretches and shakes. Those have to be some of the most fundamental exercises. And if we only have a five minute practice in the morning, if it's as simple as a few complete yawns, pendiculation, dynamic tension through the body, and then shaking, you really can't go wrong. That's an excellent, fundamental, basic way to wake up the body. Awesome. Love to hear the reflections, insights, ideas on the topic. How do you like to warm up? What do you find is the most natural and invigorating form of exercise? Share those comments and mindsets down below, my friends. And if you have not subscribed and you are interested in health, wellness, diet, meditation, subscribe my friends and share with those who you believe will be interested as always i appreciate the love and support see you guys in the next one peace